morning everyone. My name is Richard Evans. I'm with Caliber Yacht Sales and today we're going to show you a beautiful Navigator 4800 Classic. Now this boat is in spectacular condition. As you can see from the outside, she's just as beautiful inside. So come on, follow me. I'll show you what's going on here. Now one of the things you're going to like about the 4800 is uh, the outdoor space. Well, let's start with a swim grid. So easy to board. And the swim grid is massive. In fact, the uh, vendor talks to us about uh, catching very big halibut right off the swim grid here. To make things easier, this uh, staple comes out and uh, it gives you the opportunity to sit back here. You could even bring a couple of teak deck chairs back here and um, just watch the kids playing in the water. Notice the pop-up cleats that we have here. We've got three of them, one on each side and one uh, amidships which is uh, ideal for uh, tying up your dinghy, but also being in a position where you're not going to have to stub your toe. That's kind of nice. Lots of, uh, lots of security, grab rail here, and hot and cold shower right here. Isn't that nice? And don't worry about running out of fresh water. Uh, we've got a water maker on board that uh, does 38 gallons an hour, so you'll never, never have to worry about water. But well, when you don't want to run that, uh, just below that, we've got uh, inlet for city water as well. We have a barbecue right here. Uh, the barbecue is down below in the lazarette. You can stand in the cockpit, cook up the halibut that you've just caught, and uh, serve it up to your guests. So boarding into the cockpit is really a snap. Look how wide this uh, transom gate is, and look how, how well built this boat is. It's very, very solid very comfortable to be in but also very safe notice how high the gunnels are and uh, how high the transom is just ideal for kids eh not only is the swim grid big look at the size of this plenty of room in here for three maybe four adults overhead here and you know i really like the rigid overhangs for the cockpit because it protects you from the weather uh, from sun and from rain and uh, still when you want to be outside you've got this protection right here for you and not to waste any space look at these stainless steel rod holders ideal setup here I really like it now here um, you're gonna like this um, when you're anchored in a place where there might be some flies or mosquitoes uh, notice the, uh, the built-in screen doors and this is nice. Let me just open this up. This is trending right now, isn't it? The outdoors in and the indoors out. You can be sitting out here, talk to your guests that are in the salon, or the other way around, and sit in the salon and talk to your guests out here. Just a, a wonderful layout with these double sliding glass doors. Now this hatch that you see here, uh, we'll get you down into the lazarette and it's a little bit heavy but that's because it's so well insulated your engine access to your engine space is down there as well so uh, having good insulation is uh, is really important but just look at all that room down there the barbecue is spare anchor spare parts you got plenty plenty of storage down there and access to the engine space which we're going to show you a little bit later on. So come on into the salon. You think it's nice out here, just wait till you see what's going on in here. Wow, just look at the space, will you? It's just beautiful. I love the colors. I love this bird's eye maple. It's so rich and warm and yet light enough to reflect light throughout the space, making this space even bigger or appear even bigger than it really is. Over here, let's start on the port side, shall we? Let's talk first of all about these stools that uh, you can pull up to the countertop and you could uh, be talking with uh, whoever's preparing the food. Or if you prefer, just turn around and enjoy talking with your guests here in the seat and in this uh, big lush uh, Chesterfield over here. I like these. These are Hunter Douglas cellular blinds. Um, very, very nice, very chic. Uh, and I love the way that they're holding them in place with these custom balances. 
Um, everything about this boat has a real nice professional rich touch about it. Of course we have balances above uh, with uh, Bose speakers uh, embedded as here and here. Um, these cellular blinds are throughout the boat as uh, you're going to see. A nice tub chair that swivels uh, which is kind of handy and over here we have uh, a Chesterfield that pulls up and uh, turns into a double bed. Look at this beautiful custom table, custom cocktail table. Uh, this was custom made out of bird's eye maple as well and beautifully accents the rest of the uh, decorations here in this, uh, in this space. Uh, one other thing I want to talk to you about is uh, hidden away in here is the satellite TV. Uh, you'll see the sat dome uh, up on the bridge when we get up there and over here your stereo and DVD player. Plenty of storage uh, just after that and forward of that is uh, the uh, power bar uh, for your sat TV. Nice. Eh? Look at this plush carpeting. Um, but the carpeting stops at the galley so that uh, you can feel it nice and comfortable under your feet but being in the galley you've got that hardwood flooring for ease of maintenance. And over here on the starboard side uh, we've got uh, a really nice credenza again in that beautiful Corian with these rounded corners. Beautifully crafted. Over here in the forward locker is a locker but down here is the bar. And notice how um, each of the bottles has its own recessed holder to keep uh, the bottles in place. And of course what bar would be complete without an ice maker. And the ice maker is hidden behind this door so kind of out of the way. And a great surface to mix your drinks and hand them out to your guests. So here in the galley, it's so well thought out. First of all, it's safe. Galley is very safe. Look at this U shape. So when you're in a seaway, and if it does get seriously rough, you're braced in here, and um, you don't have a long way to fly. Um, but I want to point out this beautiful, beautiful Corian countertop. Um, molded corners, which is very nice uh, for safety, but it, it also really looks nice. And these sinks, the sinks are beautiful. They're, they're molded in so that there's less room for slop uh, getting water down uh, below. And they're deep, so it keeps the water in where it belongs. Look at all the storage. Storage everywhere. And these, this hardware is beautiful. It's, uh, it it complements the bird's eye maple, but it also um, is very safe to operate. You don't need to stick your fingers in to try to release the latch. You simply push the button and then pull the drawer out like so. Plenty of storage. you got a bank of three drawers here and two drawers here. Storage down below here and under the sink and here and here. Plenty of storage underneath here and here. Now we got this beautiful Princess 3 burner propane stove uh, sitting right here and a convection microwave oven uh, low enough so that uh, people can reach it. Uh, some microwave ovens you'll note in boats are up high where nobody can reach it. So this is, this is really well thought out. Um, and plenty of workspace on both sides of the stove. Got nice deep storage uh, behind the stove. And this, look at this beauty, a full size fridge freezer. Just like at home. So just imagine with this beautiful open concept, your guests are pulling up uh, to the swim grid in their dinghy and they're stepping through that wide transom door into the big cockpit and through those double sliding glass doors here into the salon and you're waiting for them with some fresh cool drinks for them. Now isn't that what boating's all about? This boat is perfectly laid out for exactly that. 
as well as your company up here in the pilot house. Speaking of the pilot house, follow me. So many wonderful spaces in this boat that uh, can separate uh, your various groups. That's one of them up there, but uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. Now here, again, we have this big open concept that really gives you uh, a sense of more space than really is. It's a wonderful layout. I really like it. Many pilot house designs have a bulkhead that separate the salon from the pilot house. You'll note that this one does not. And this is great from a social level so that you can engage with your uh, friends and family in the salon, but also when you're uh, pulling up or backing into your slip and using the inside helm, it's easy for you to be able to do that from here. Love it. And it's an ideally set up for a group of people to be meeting up here, chatting, talking, very comfortable. Whoever's at the helm seat can have a second pair of eyes from here, keeping an eye on the water. Or if the driver is getting lonely, um, his co-pilot can sit here and chat with whoever's at the helm. Beautiful layout. You could sit probably four adults in this space very, very comfortably, as well as a fifth here in the helm seat. Of course, the helm seat swivels, so it can, can completely turn around and uh, face whoever is in the uh, space here. The helm seat is uh, very comfortable and fully adjustable and great visibility from this space. Really, really good visibility. It's very, uh, very ergonomic. This feels good. This feels really, really comfortable. Um, and the visibility that I can see from here, I can see any logs that might come up. Oh, we're sitting nice and high off the water and uh, a full panoramic vision here. Have a look at these. These are hynotic controls. Um, they're hydraulic controls, uh, much, much better and more positive action than you will get with cable and pulley. Uh, you're going to love working with these. And with those big four blade props, you've got total control of this vessel uh, in tight maneuvering. Uh, that combined with the bow thruster that uh, you'll see that's in easy reach of your left hand here. Throttles here. Gear shifts here. Now forward, uh, you have your fish finder and uh, depth sounder. Uh, color, of course. In the center, you've got uh, radar. And on the right, you've got a separate display that will uh, provide you with your GPS chart plotter. Autopilot here. And VHF in easy reach by your right hand here. Trim tabs here, and wiper controls right here. Your gauges, engine gauges, are analog. Um, I like that because you can see very quickly exactly what the status is of your engines. And what else is nice is that right in the center, you've got a rudder angle indicator, which is ideal, especially when you're docking. So that's about it for this space. Let's head upstairs and I'll show you this wonderful, wonderful outdoor space, ideal for entertaining. Now this is just an awesome space for relaxing, for entertaining. Just look at this. Look at the uh, upholstery. It's in excellent condition. Remember this boat's a 2000. It certainly doesn't show it, does it? Lots of stuff up here that we're going to talk about. Uh, first of all, uh, this radar arch uh, holding your antenna and your uh, track dome for your satellite TV. Um, this bimini folds all the way forward and attaches in two struts on each side so that the entire upper helm is covered, which is very nice to keep you out of the sun and the rain if you get rained on while you're up here. Uh, this, uh, this is an 800 pound hydraulic davit system complete with a remote control. And that very easily manages this dinghy uh, with a 15 horsepower Merc on the back. Uh, it is a four stroke. Everything up here is all covered in canvas. Um, 
course the canvas isn't here right now, but that's why this boat is in the condition that it's in. Full canvas cover for the uh, dinghy, all of this, and the instrumentation panel. Right here on the port side, uh, this case right here is holding uh, two propane tanks. Um, so you'll never have to worry about uh, running out of propane. Coming forward here, uh, I wanted to point this out. You've got so much seating space up here. Uh, three people there, three people here, and a person here and there. Um, but this pivots, of course, so that you can actually face your guests, which is really nice, isn't it? Let's have a look at the upper helm here. Now this is a great spot to run your boat from. Just beautiful, especially on a nice sunny day like today. Uh, here we have your hynautic controls again, same as that you have in your lower helm. Um, your engine gauges, analog again, and uh, you've got your uh, tri-data for depth. Right here you have your bow thruster and a VHF radio. And right here on the side is yet another stereo system. So you can run a separate stereo up here on the bridge deck. Then you're running from down in the rest of the boat. Pretty nice, eh? Just ideally set up for good entertaining, lots of fun on the water. Or just come up with a glass of wine at the end of the day and look out on the beautiful vistas of uh, the anchorage that you're bobbing around at anchor. You're going to love it. So another great feature of the pilot house is this uh, side door that uh, allows you to step out onto the uh, side deck. Walking forward, the first thing that you'll probably notice is just how high these rails are and very securely mounted into the deck. Uh, the, uh, this is uh, just another safety feature of the vessel. Let's turn around and have a look at it. It's just beautiful, beautiful lines, beautiful profile. Lovely boat, lovely boat. Notice here the uh, hatch that uh, opens up uh, into your VIP cabin. And here, windless, that is almost flush mount with the deck got uh, both up and down deck switches for the ground tackle. A substantial anchor, more than enough to be able to hold you securely in the biggest of blows. Notice also up here the flat profile of the deck, which would be ideal for a couple of sun pads if you so choose to do so. You know, when you move around this boat, you just feel the, the quality. So that's about it for the pilot house, but come on down below. We'll show you heads and beds just as nice as it is up here. So here we are in the uh, VIP cabin. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, really well laid out. You've got a nice opening hatch above for ventilation. Um, look at all this storage along the uh, bulkheads here. Plenty of storage there. and four big drawers underneath the beds. Um, very, very comfortable. One of the things I really like about this is that it's not a Pullman berth. Uh, you don't need to climb over each other when you're uh, one or the other needs to get up to go get a drink of water or whatever. This is a two cabin, two head boat. Uh, both cabins have a head. Um, this is the VIP head. And notice that it has a standalone shower. Uh, with a glass door. Very nice. Keeps all the water in where it belongs. Um, very bright. Uh, the mirror on the ceiling is kind of nice. It gives it a big airy feel. Loads of storage. Um, again, Moen taps. Beautiful. They really accent the uh, bird's eye maple nicely, don't they? Electric heads. Uh, very easy to use. Very nice. Now, let's uh, move aft uh, to the master cabin. Look at this space, eh? Isn't this nice? All this bird's eye maple. Uh, full queen walk around. Just beautiful. Nice, comfortable mattress. Um, notice that uh, you've got both speakers in here as well. Notice again, this very big head. Nice Corian countertop. 
loads of space below. Once again, with this uh, shower that is standalone and to keep all the water in where it belongs. Well, really tastefully done. Lots of mirrors, mirrors in the ceiling. Give it a great spacious look port in here. And the port is uh, screened as well. Now look at all the space in this master cabin and all the storage that we have here. Two separate hang up lockers, two smaller lockers in between the two. Heating vent right here, side tables on each side, and of course, drawers below. Just a beautiful, beautiful space. Feels good in here. Now, wasn't that beautiful? Do you think you could feel comfortable in that space? <laughs> I know I certainly could. So access to the engine room is really easy. The hatch is here in the cockpit, and I like that. I much prefer that than having to access it through the salon floor. Very deep lazarette with lots of storage back here and easy access forward into the engine space. So the first thing you're going to notice is uh, just how wonderfully clean this engine space is. Just so meticulously cared for. Uh, the owner, as you can see through the rest of the boat, is very meticulous about this boat. It is so well maintained. I've seen a lot of engine rooms over the last 20 years and uh, by golly this has to be one of the cleanest that I've seen. You'll notice that they are Volvo engines, uh, they're TMD 63's. Uh, Volvo's claim to fame is that these engines are designed right from scratch to be marine engines. They're not marinized like some of the other manufacturers. The engines are very economical to run. Each engine has uh, 313 horsepower, which is more than enough power to push this boat to 16 knots if you want it. The uh, boat cruises comfortably at 9 or 10 knots or a high cruise of 12 knots. Tripless shaft seals, high nautic controls, uh, both for your transmission and for your throttles. Five kilowatt genset, uh, fully enclosed with a sound shield. The water maker here on the port side uh, does 38 gallons per hour. Up forward is the Magnum sine wave, 2800 watt inverter. Each engine has uh, dual Raycor filters, both with pressure gauges, so that even as you're running and if one filter clogs, you can switch over to the other, even while you're underway. Your total fuel capacity is 550 gallons, and your freshwater tank capacity is 170 gallons. Your holding tank is uh, 70 gallons. Just so meticulously cared for. It is so well maintained. Wow, didn't I tell you? What an absolutely spectacular boat. Good fuel economy, very stable in a seaway, and in pristine condition. And you know what? This boat can be yours. All you have to do is just call us, and we'll get you aboard to have a look for yourself. Thanks for watching.